If you're asked to add the fractions 3 fourths plus 5 sixths, here's how you do it. We need to find a common denominator, something that both 4 and 6 go into evenly. So if we can get the denominator to be the same, then we can just add the numerators and we'll have found the sum for 3 fourths plus 5 sixths. I know that 4 goes into 12 and 6 goes into 12. So I could say 3 times 4, that would give me 12. 6 times 2, that would give me 12. So now I have the same denominator, but I can't just multiply the denominator here by three. I need to multiply the numerator by three as well. That's because three divided by three is just one. So we're not changing the actual value, just the way it's written. And over here, I need to multiply by two over two. So now three times three, that's nine, and three times four, that's 12. And 9 over 12, that's the same as 3 over 4. They're equivalent fractions. On this side, 5 times 2 is 10. And 6 times 2, that's 12. And now we have the same denominators. We're just going to add the numerators. 9 plus 10 equals 19. And then we just bring the 12 across when we add fractions. So 3 fourths plus 5, 6, that equals 19 over 12. This is an improper fraction. 19 is larger than 12. So we could write it as a mixed number. 12 goes into 19 one time with seven left over, bring the 12 across. And we could also call this one and seven twelfths. That's the same thing as 19 over 12. But in answer to our question, when we add three fourths plus five sixths, we get 19 twelfths or as a mixed number, one and seven twelfths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.